All right. Today we're going to do the uh, Weiser Smart Key. It's a pretty fun lock. Good learning curve. Especially when you're not used to doing sidebars. I had to make this little tool here. It's just a wiper blade filed down, I don't know, about 11 thou, 10 thousandths of an inch. And I think the hardest part of this lock is seriously making this tool and getting it to go in to the sidebar where it needs to be. Once you get it in there, you'll, you'll feel it just slide in. It'll just go. Yeah, that went in nicely. So now you'll know it's in the right spot because there will be no play and the core will actually jiggle when it's in there, pinched nice and tight. Uh, unfortunately, um, I've messed around with this lock for quite a while, but this is the factory key that came with it. And that is not very challenging to me anyway. I honestly think it's only two pins that I pick in this. But I do have a few other keys that I'm going to try with to mess around with. But for now, I'm get into it. Nothing on one. Nothing on two. Pin three is binding. Good click out of three. Four. Binding. There's a click there. And I noticed that the set pins also, they they go springy when they're set. It's opposite of what I'm used to feeling when a pin's set. I don't know, it's strange. But yeah, I think this is picked already. And the one way to check it is uh, just use your top of the keyway tension wrench here. Turning that, yeah, that's open. The, this wedge, it'll get really tight when you try to pull that out. And there it is. It's the smart key. Gen 3 with the sidebar. And just a high reach. And then again, the tool. Let's do some shrink tube, get a better grip on it, to get it right up in there. Thanks for watching. Bye.